Kenny, for yes. the Lakers to close it out, what has to happen? Uh, I think they have to establish an inside presence. I think to uh, rely on the fact of um, Austin Reeves and LeBron James to carry them offensively, who at times LeBron is perimeter uh, when he doesn't get downhill, and Austin Reeves is perimeter, I think is, uh, and there he is. That is the next person I was going to mention. That man has to es establish the inside post because the easy baskets is what wins in playoffs. It's not the tough baskets. It, and it's, as the series goes on, I said this last night, there are tough shot makers on every team. But who gets easy shots is the team that wins. Anthony Davis can create easy shots. Even LeBron at this stage of his career, he's a tough shot maker. He's not an easy shot maker right now. He's been good in game one and game three, not so much in game two and game four from uh, us. What it's all about Anthony yeah. Davis tonight. Uh, you can't expect LeBron at his age to play that many minutes and then come back in two days and play that well. Anthony Davis didn't do anything the last game. So uh, it's all going to be about him tonight. He got to come out and did like, uh, did like he did in game one and game three. Or do like he did. Uh, do, yeah, I mean, cause it, it's, it's, it's just frustrating watching him play basketball. I mean, you, you know, I thought this guy was going to be the best player in the world, and they, they just disappear. But like I said, this is all about Anthony tonight. You can't, like I say, you can't expect LeBron <coughs> at 38 years old to play in a, that period because when you get older, it's hard to get that. He said, uh, Darvin said he felt it yesterday. He probably still feeling it today. But it's all about Anthony Davis tonight, in my opinion. I agree with Chuck as the commander in chief of the Big Man Alliance. Chuck is absolutely right. I think I figured this game out. What he needs to understand is he, he is a finesse player, but you can play, you can, you can outplay a power guy when you just use your finesse. When he's trying to bully and do all that, he's missing like little shots. Play your game down low, spins, you know, one, two, three, dribble. Tim Duncan was the greatest finesse player ever. When he played against me, the only way he took advantage of me, not by using his strength, by using his finesse. So when those guys are trying to play bully ball with him, he has to use his finesse and stop settling for the jumpers. Kenny makes a great point. Inside presence. Get it, face him up, shoot the little shot, one or two dri dribbles, spin, get them all balanced, get them in foul trouble. But tonight is all about AD. I need 35 and 15 from AD tonight. If not, it will be another game. He has 31 it, and 17 in game three. He has been on the defensive end. He's been a force. He's got 19 blocks in the series. Memphis as a team has 17. But they need him to score. But And the best thing Shaq just said all the time, because if they get Jackson in foul trouble, they become this small. Yeah. I mean, they're missing Clark and Adams. You get rid of Jackson. If he, if he would be really aggressive two or three out of the first three or four times, and get, if he could get two fouls early on Jackson, they, they, I don't even know who the next guy they would uh, – Roddy. They yeah. bring, and he's just a little dude. Well, Xavier Tillman's in there too. Yeah, but, he, but he's not a, a shot blocker. That guy's a shot blocker. Yeah. Um, Kenny, on, on the uh, other side of that, Memphis extends the series if John Moran uh, hand allows him to be perimeter the exact opposite. He is only right now a, a guy who's getting to the rim. So at times the key plays they're walling up making him make tough shots 19 points 8 for 24 his his ability to shoot the three ball this year and then last year had made him one of the top three guards in basketball. Uh, it loosens things up. It makes the defense have to honor him. And then he is the best paint scorer, maybe with the exception of Kyrie Irving, at the point guard position. So we know that he is doing that. But the biggest thing is now is he is not diversifying his offense the way Shaq diversifies his funds. His, his counterpart. <laughs> nice try. His counterpart, his partner, has to step up, Mr. Dylan Brooks. Uh, you know, you talk about it, you got to be about it, Ernie. His shot has been off. They're daring him to shoot. He's not really shooting well, but we know they play well at home. We know they're going to play with great energy, but he has to do something. And I think if he can hit some shots and gain his confidence tonight, they can definitely win. Uh, it's going to be a great game. Must win for the Lakers. Also, a must win for, for Memphis, too, or they go home. The slogan kicks in, win or go home. But this guy right here has to step up, you know. Somebody sent out a tweet that says you can't be him one day and then be non-existent the next. So. Well, I, I think the first quarter is really important for Memphis tonight. They got to get the crowd into the game because in an elimination game, you need 
Because the, the, crowd, the crowd does one thing. It gives you so much energy sometimes. You never get tired when they're cheering and going crazy. Uh, they, you know, they intimidate the refs to a certain degree. So I think the first quarter, I do agree with Shaq. It ain't going to be about Ja. Ja's going to put up some good numbers. But Bain and Brooks. Bain's coming off a big game. Yeah, at 36 yeah. in game four. But, but Brooks, you can't talk all that noise and then yeah. play bad. And then average 11 points. Yeah, you got to get, you, cause you calling people old and the, the old man just kicking your ass. Let's be honest about it. <laughs> uh, but I think the crowd, they got to get the crowd in this game early. Uh, but I think Brooks and Bain and obviously Jackson. But I think they're going to have to have one more surprise guy. Surprise uh, guy. Because well, in, the, in yeah. the game they won, it was Tillman. Exactly. So it's got to be a because you like you you said and, that, and that's a game Jaw didn't play. Yeah, I mean, but you got to say the, but you got to have extra guys because Jaw Brooks Jackson those and, and uh, uh, those four guys ain't enough. You're going to get one guy. Uh, it could be Roddy. Uh, it could be Tillman again. See who's making three balls tonight because neither side has been doing that in this series. They combined 31 percent. They're 86 for 280 from deep.